<laughs> you need special permission to go into this area now, yeah? Yeah. Welcome, Welcome to, to Nasria, finally! And this you see right here is the prison where they put some of the worst terrorist and ISIS members. Right now we are at the most tricky checkpoint in the whole of Iraq. And it's because we're going to pass through the most dangerous prison in the whole of Iraq. And uh, we have waited for like one hour now to get the permission. Someone is coming to pick us up and then hopefully we can go see this beautiful part of Iraq also. The guys had arrived in Nasria, meeting up with Nasria friends. And now we are like 10 guys together. It's gonna be a fun adventure tomorrow. Everywhere you go in this country, you are welcome with open arms. Finally. How is your stomach? In Iraq, people like to socialize and talk until the late night. The hospitality is in the very top. And so is the food. I've rarely seen so many plates with delicious food on one table. Iraqi food is mouth-watering and you just want more and more. Crazy dinner. What do you think, Mohamed? Nice, very nice. Very nice. Yet the best thing is the company because Iraqi people are very cool. What is the name of this? Bushanego. It's good food, driver. How many Mohammed? One, two, three, five. Five. Mohammed. Mohammed. Got one here. Got one here. And three more there. So if I call Mohammed, then everyone will be ready. Mohammed? Yeah. <laughs> It was time to hit the streets at night. Nasriya. Nightlife in Nasriya. Nightlife in Nasriya. Yeah. To check out what was happening here. Black house, cafe. The game start. Ready to watch some football with lots of Iraqi shababs. Welcome to Nasriya. Take the same as them. Always the same. Let's go. People here love football. No. No penalty. And Sisha and tasty juice. <laughs> Smoking Sisha until it's empty and then getting a new one, Iraqi style. In Iraq, people smoke water pipes as part of their culture and traditions, and it's widely accepted everywhere. It feels like the night never ends here. Cheers to life. <laughs> Time to sleep. Nice, smart. At night is where a lot of things happen in Iraq because it's so hot during the day. One thing that's very different to where I come from is you see so many kids driving around the streets on scooters and whatever they can find. And it seems like it's widely accepted. Back and talk again for a few hours and then the boys were ready to sleep after a long day of adventures. Mohammed. <laughs> Corona distance. <laughs> A refreshing shower and good night from Nasria. Good stuff. Yeah. Is it hotter here than in Baghdad? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> go to 42, 42. <laughs> I had to respond to all this friendliness, so I gave Mohammed my jacket in these freezing temperatures. How do you like my jacket? I look like military. Yeah. <laughs> Just the AK. Military. Now I'm going to style. Just you need to look like this. Stylish. Justin Bieber. Usato et ma'ano. This city of around 560,000 is the fourth largest in Iraq, and it's very hard to visit. Welcome to Nasiriya! But the Pope actually visited here a month before me. <laughs> no, Denmark. Where is Denmark here? We are the best friends of Iraq. Nasiriya Museum. 12 US dollars for me to enter this museum. Uh, so, during sex, the woman drinks from this vase, and the man has sex. During wedding, the first day of wedding they use this. Iraq is one of the countries with most historical importance and very friendly people. Karbis. Kasia. How was the museum? It's very nice. Very interesting. Yeah. On the road again. There's always a chance of grabbing some watermelon here. And right now we are leaving Nasria. I think I fit in really, really good here. 
That's my opinion. You can't go to Iraq without a little swim. And my Iraqi friend told me he was the world champion of doing tricks. Oh! <laughs> nice one. Woo! Woo! Woo Iraq. There's nothing like road trip in Iraq with plenty of stops on the way. <laughs> Iraq is dangerous. <laughs> Chibai stretches oh. over such a big area and we needed to check it out. Dude, that was dope! Chibai? Yeah. It's uh, north of Nasriya. Ah, here. so we are still at the place. Yeah. It's such a big area. Yeah, <laughs> it's small. Okay. Small, doesn't yeah? <laughs> I already told you that Iraq is dangerous, but it's maybe not the danger that you would think of. Oh, As you in the mud. Iraq is safer than you think. Nice. Shoe very nice. Yeah. Quick sand. Such a cool country for people who want to explore. Welcome, Welcome to Ur. Kingdom of this place put the first rules in the history to his people. 5000 BC. 5000 BC. Yeah. This were the first rules were made. Yeah. First rules. Ur was one of the world's first true cities. It was inhabited for thousands of years. It's <laughs> just too special, like it's crazy. A magical place that has a big importance in many religions. Southern Mesopotamia has long been recognized as the cradle of civilization. And the sunset here is out of this world. Ur was actually closed when we came, but we had a pre-clearance. And after some time of waiting, the military let us in. Such an important part of history. Right now our hair is just crap after a long day. There is no girls here. There's no uh, Russian girls out there. The sunset just gets better and better. Hurry up, hurry up. Close your eyes and turn your face into the winds. But be careful here in Ur, because the wind is very strong. At least today. Sorry, my friend. Too much wind. But does it really matter when you're at the great cigarette temple in the ancient city of Ur in southern Iraq? This place like went through a lot of stuff. 300 kilometers south of Baghdad. Hey, yeah, that's it. I was, uh, yeah. How did you forget your GoPro? Why? What? <laughs> <laughs> Messing with my GoPro means a early morning revenge. Good morning, my son. <laughs> you sleeping like a baby? Baba Bat? Morning, Baba Bat. <laughs> <laughs> this was a glimpse of Nasria and Ur. And remember to subscribe to Gus and the Go.